Oh man, I'm all sorts of excited right now. Look how nice this tank is looking though, boys. Woo! Fresh. God damn, that's a good looking reef tank. It's getting there, slowly but surely. I'm gonna do an update on that on the tank soon, trust me. Don't worry, we're getting there. But today, I'm so freaking excited. excited. <laughs> like, holy crap. I didn't, even, I didn't even know he was coming right now, honestly. Like, I talked to Kevin yesterday. Kevin never even said, hey, by the way, I'm putting your, uh, your water monitor in the mail. He's going to be there tomorrow. Didn't even know. It's a good thing I was here. So, just a little update for you guys really fast. I got a black dragon, you guys know. I got a Sumatran black dragon, who I built this cage for right here, the big outdoor enclosure. Now, after speaking to a lot of people that already have them and that know how to train them, I talked to this guy, Sean, on Instagram. He's got, he tamed down his baby water monitor. That was crazy, so I've been getting some tips from him. I've been getting some tips right from Kevin. I've been talking to Kevin on the phone back and forth for the last week or so. Go check out, uh, Kevin put out a video actually about freehanding and stuff like that. Mentioned to me a couple parts in it. Go check that out on Nerds page. It's New England Reptiles. I'll put all their links right down here. Make sure you go add them. For those of you who don't know who Nerd is already, they've been around forever. I've been looking up to those guys since I was a little kid working in a reptile store. But anyways, today, so I moved my Black Dragon this is the cage that I had the indigo snake in. The indigo, I moved into the snake room, okay? So now the indigo is in a four foot vision in the snake room, doing great. A bunch of people were like, hey, in order to tame down your water monitor, you really need to put him inside in a smaller cage, that way he feels more secure, he's easier to work with. So now, I have a little, a little stool where every morning, I pull out, I pull out my little stool. I open up the glass. He's, she's in her water right now. Kevin thinks that this is a girl, so I got a male in the box right here that we're gonna open in a second. So Kevin thinks that this is a girl, the Sumatran girl. So every day in the morning, I wake up, I come out here, I sit down with her, I put my, open up the glass, I put my hands in there. I let her crawl on me and stuff. This morning, I, I had her out. She was crawling on my arms and stuff. Hasn't been trying to bite me lately, which is good. She's still a little fighty and she's still a little scared, but we're establishing that bond and it's very, it's all on her terms. I'm letting her crawl out onto my hands. I'm petting her under her chin, getting those really nice, steady tongue flicks. She's, yeah, I could tell she's getting a lot more comfortable great sign so sooner than later this little black dragon right here is gonna be a puppy dog and she ate out of my hands the other day which was really cool too but right now I'm building I'm actually I'm in the middle of building a tank stand I ordered another one of these tanks it's gonna be here tomorrow so everyone, I'm gonna finish the video tomorrow with you guys and show you the final setup, how this is gonna be going, because I'm really stoked about how I'm gonna have the setup with both water monitors on the same stand. It's gonna be sick and it's gonna look great. I'm gonna use my carpentry skills and build a new stand. I'm gonna sand it and stain it and it's gonna look super legit. So, that being said, I think I should open up the new baby. Yeah? Let's unbox the new baby. I don't know, let's see him. Yeah, let's, let's see him. There's a very, there's a particular way. Now, Kevin, if you go on New England Reptiles YouTube, Kevin has a bunch of different videos on how to unbox animals, how to unbox a snake, how to unbox this, how to unbox that. He has a particular, he has a series of four videos. Uh, it is about how to unbox his water monitors. Now, his water monitors, he socializes them when they are a baby, so they are, nice and sweet tame animals when he ships them to his customers so that is the that is the deal with this new baby he's been already socialized kevin hand picked this baby for me i'll put the video for you guys here of them picking them out and i think they put a they put a video on their page also yeah that's a really confident animal uh tyler, he's like suckers i'm gonna go to Candyland now with tyler <laughs> Handpicked by Kevin for me, which I greatly appreciate, Kevin. Thank you so much. 
yeah, so he's gonna be super sweet. So I'm gonna keep them in separate cages for a while until this one calms down and is super chill. And then once they're a little bit bigger, maybe in you know three, four months, something like that, they'll be nice and calm. And I'll be able to move them into the outdoor cage or maybe that'll just be their play cage. I don't know, but they're gonna have some options. They're all, they're all gonna be dope. This cage is set up super sick. I'll go over all the details with that when I finish the stand and I have both cages on here so you guys can see what we're working with. But enough of this boring stuff. Let's open up this baby. Let me put the cats away because they're crazy. All right, here we go. So now I'm gonna start on the floor with this guy, okay? Just so that we're all at the same level. I'm gonna get down on the floor and let him come out. Let's see how this is. Oh, sweet. Kevin gave me some goodies. We got some. Some stickers, put that on my truck. I don't have any stickers on my truck. I don't even have GMZ stickers on my truck, but I'm gonna put a nerd sticker on my truck for sure. Cause it's pretty fucking cool. Oh man, and I got a black one. That's awesome. Sick, I got some options. Woo! I got a new keychain. That's tight. Some more stickers. Oh, this one's cool. It's got some scales yeah, on it. Dude, dope. Cool merch, Kevin. Awesome. Got the official card right here. Bing, bang, boom. Oh man. Here we go. Got a little ice pack in there. Keep them cool. It is, it has been hot lately. Damn, Kevin, you hooked it up. Got some fucking, got the, my best friends are cold blooded nerd shirt. So awesome. Got another nerd shirt. Damn, Kevin. Hooking it up. What is this one? Oh, dude, that's awesome. Hands, it's what's for dinner. That's that's awesome. So tight. Thank you so much, Kevin. This shit is awesome. Oh, I got a little bracelet. <gasps> the baby. You see how this thing's packed? They used a bunch of newspaper shavings to make it nice and make it nice and sturdy in there so they don't get so it, the animals don't move around as much all right so let's put them on the floor like this all right now now the thing is i'm gonna get down on his level that way he feels more secure when the animals, like a bird, when the an, when a bird is at eye level with you, or head height, or even above your head, they feel superior to you, especially a bird. Uh, lizards, similar thing. When they're at your head level or above, they just feel more secure when they're at that level. They don't feel like you're looking over them, and they're they're not. Uh, it's just it's more it's more reassuring for them if they're if they're at eye level with you at least. Same thing with dogs. A lot of animals are like that. You know, when you first meet an animal, it's good to get on their level. So that way you're not intimidating them. All right. So on Kevin's unboxing videos, he says, you know, you carefully take these guys out. I'm not gonna reach in the bag and grab him. I'm just gonna literally, I'm gonna open up the bag a little bit and I'm just gonna let him come out on his own pretty much. I'm gonna let, let him crawl onto my hand. Oh, he's so tiny. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're so cute. Look, here you go. Oh, I'm gonna get closer. Oh my god, my heart. Hi. Hello. Oh my, goodness. oh my god, you're so cute. Oh, what a sweet little animal. Oh my god. <laughs> you are so sweet. Hi. Hey little guy, you're such a tiny little monster. How amazing, what a beautiful animal. Man, yeah, the, just the quality of the animals that Kevin reproduces is just, it's amazing. This is truly a beautiful creature. So gorgeous. You are so pretty. Give you little head strokes. Oh, so yeah. cute. You're so cute. 
We're gonna be best friends. So cute. Holy crap. She's so, he's so cute. Now we gotta rename him. I was gonna name the Black Dragon Falcor. Friendly Dragon. But now Falcor is a girl. So, and this is the boy. So we gotta come up with some new names. Maybe like a duo name, boy girl combo, I don't know. You're gonna grow up to be a big old dragon. Make you a pool in your own little house and everything. Yeah, it's crazy the size comparison with my other. This one is so tiny compared to compared to the black dragon. So this is a het black dragon, by the way. This is not a regular water monitor. This is a het black dragon. So they carry the het gene. That means when you breed these guys with an actual full het dragon, you're gonna get both. You're gonna get a bunch of babies that are het. They look normal, but they carry the het dragon. They carry the black dragon gene. And then you're also gonna get some babies that are gonna be black dragons. Which is cool. So it's like a variety. And I like variety. I was gonna get another all black, but I wanted some, I wanted a different looking animal. You know, they're the same, same type of lizard for the most part. Different localities, different colorations. Okay, so let me show you what I got going on so far. So, what I'm gonna do, this is the base right here, see this? Built this out of two by threes or whatever, the, whatever they are. Built this out of two by threes, this is the base. This goes down, I inset, see how I inset this right here? So the cage is gonna sit inside of this frame right here, the bottom cage, the 24 inch tall cage is gonna go there. This thing right here, this is gonna be the dividers in both of their cages, okay? Just like this, put little dividers, everything's inset here. This is literally gonna fit on top of the new cage, and then that cage that the Black Dragon is in, she is gonna be up top, and then boom, insets into the top. So both cages will be able to stack up on each other. This right here is gonna make sure that it has plenty of room for both of the heat lights and the UVB light that I have on the cage. So now I'm gonna sand these things down. Got a sander, get these things looking nice and fresh. I'm gonna throw some stain on it real quick and some like weatherproof and stuff. Call it a day. We're painting them. Paint time. All right, boom, painted, check. That was fast, right? Do everything super quick. Got the new cage right here. We're gonna get it set up here in a second. And go over everything in further detail. And I'm gonna show you guys my cool new shirt. I think it's badass. All right, so I'm gonna get these cages set up now. Now, by the way, people ask me a few times, this is the cage that I kept the indigo in, so just to go over a couple things with the Black Dragon, the whole reason why, I still have the outdoor enclosure obviously for them, and they're gonna be moved outside eventually, but they're both very young, and they need to be socialized and trained pretty much. So in order to do that, it's a lot easier for me to keep them inside, that way I can just pull up a chair to the cage every day, put my hands in there, let them crawl out onto my arms, socialize with them, getting that bond with them. It's very important to get that bond right off the bat with them. And then once that is established and they're nice social trained lizards, I'm gonna move them outside to where they can enjoy natural sunlight and stuff like that. But in time being, these cages are awesome. So people have asked me about these cages. This company is called Carolina Custom. Carolina Custom Cages. I got it on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link for you guys at the bottom. Check these cages out. They're badass. Super easy to put together. They come shipped to you in a box. You literally just take these little rods. They go in each corner. You twist them in like this. You barely even need any tools for this cage. Actually, you don't need any tools to build this cage. Everything you just twist on just like this. All these little bars twist on here. The other, the other little plastic pieces, they slide on these bars, the glass slides in, top goes on, put a couple screws in there, good to go. 
So you're gonna see how I built this, uh, this new cage stand. I'm gonna set up a cage here, build this, put the top on, and then put the other cage on top of that. So let's get this all put together. Ooh, check this out. Doesn't that look good? Right? That's such a sick setup. Finally done. Built this little stand, it's working perfectly. So this stand right here, sets on to, it sets on top of this cage. It's like fitted, I made sure I measured everything out and I made it so it fits right on top. And then the other cage fits right on the top of that. So it's like a divider, so I can fit all the lights and stuff right there. Perfect setup for these guys. These guys are gonna be chilling. They got their branches in there, okay? Each side has the basking light on both sides. I'm using 125 watt on both of them. It's an ample amount of temperature for them. They have little basking areas with these little cement slabs. It gets nice and hot for them. They can just chill out. They have their water bowls. Boom. They hang out in these things a lot. They poop in it, which actually makes it pretty easy to clean their cages because eight out of 10 times, they go to the bathroom in their water. You just gotta change their water out every day. Super easy. My girlfriend put little labels on everything. Super legit. They got their UVB bulbs here. And then also what I did is there's 150 watt ceramic bulbs. So this other fixture up here, that's 150 watt ceramic on both of these cages. Everything is on a timer. All the spotlights and the UVB and my mister, see this little mister right here? This is a little canister, holds water. I have a sprayer in each one of these cages. Every four hours, it sprays for 60 seconds. So it mists down the cage every four hours, keeps the humidity levels perfect for them. Also, crucial, make sure when you put water bowls, they can climb out. So that's why these little logs are inside their water bowls so that they can climb out of them. That's pretty much it. Super legit setups. These things are awesome. So let's, let's take these guys out and show you. This little dude. He's just curious little George. He's so cute. I love this little guy. So this is my little het black dragon. I just got Varanus Salvatore, Asian water monitor. This is supposedly the male. That's supposedly female. We don't know. We're, we're, we're kind of sure, but not 100%. We're like 98%, which is fine. I'll figure it out when we go there, besides the point. But yeah, look how cute these little guys are. So, a couple things I wanted to go over that I didn't go over in the first video that I posted of the black dragon that people were asking, I didn't go over what they eat, I guess. So, these guys have a very fast metabolism, so they should eat every day. Crickets, mice, fuzzies, the, this guy's gonna be on roaches, crickets, day old pinkies, I'm gonna rotate them out. I'm gonna feed them almost every day. Definitely a few crickets every day. Cause I want this guy to be super, super well fed. And that's pretty much it. They're not, they don't need any uh, vegetation, I don't think. At least I haven't read them on it. They're strictly carnivorous. Look at this guy's pattern. So cool. Another reason why I wanted to go het instead of another all black dragon, I just wanted some color variation. A little bit of a pattern, even though I'll show you in a bit, the black dragon also has pattern on her. Oh, this guy's awesome. Thanks, Kevin. Happy you were handpicked by the best. Here I am. Those long tongue flicks, he's just checking stuff out. He's like, oh, hey, you're my new dad. Come here. Come on over here. Come this way. Now check out these shirts too. My best friends are cold-blooded. Kevin sent me a bunch of shirts. I'm gonna put the link for these at the bottom so you guys can order them. These things are awesome. Even the back is super dope. Sick. I gotta make some more merch. I'm gonna get on it. I had shirts, I had Taruk shirts actually for a while, but I sold out of them and I just haven't had the time to make them. I'm opening up a new shop, so I'm also designing stuff for the new shop. 
getting that all set to go. So hopefully in the next couple weeks, I'm gonna have a bunch of new merch for you guys for me also. So keep posted for that. I'm gonna put you back in your new cage. Give you a little head rubs. They love getting the sides of their heads rubbed. They love it. You're cute. I'm gonna put you in your new cage. In your new tower. So I got him, his cage, or yeah, his cage set up. So that way he can easily just crawl up on this stick. He can crawl onto this onto this log right here and go right into his water and then he can easily get out if he wants to. If he wants to get out of the water, he just swims right over here, climbs up the log, and then he can go right out here. Perfect for him. That way I don't gotta worry about nothing, little guy, right? So, that's that. I'm gonna show you guys the progress that I've been having with the Black Dragon. Totally different ball game with this guy. This guy was already hand raised by Kevin so far. So Kevin takes them out, socializes them every day, gets them used to people. This guy on the other hand, I don't really know. We, we kind of know, uh, I guess the guy that I got this guy from said that the hatch date was April 3rd. Yeah, April 30th, no, yeah. April 3rd is the hatch date of this guy. We didn't know exactly where this guy came from and he wasn't, I don't know the whole story. I got this off of a guy, like I said before, North Georgia Exotics. He got it from somebody, he gave it to me, or not gave it, sold it to me. You know what I'm saying? So what I've been doing every day, it's probably been a week now, when I first got this lizard, obviously you guys know, I took it out, he was biting me a bunch, he was very schizo, like super crazy, very bitey, very flighty, was not the greatest. So now every day, what I do is I have, I have my chair, I come up to his cage, I, I, get, I try to get down almost on the same level. He was on a table uh, a little bit higher than this before, so we were on the same level. Now he's a little bit lower. But what you want to do is you never want to go into the cage and just grab these animals or go into the cage like a bird. You never want to go into a bird's cage and just grab them. You, you let them step up onto you. Same thing with what you want to do with monitors. You never want to just go grab them. You're going to scare them. They're going to see you and they're going to associate with you with grabbing and you do not want that. So what I've been doing She's been really loving her water dish a lot. So normally she's in her water. So what I've been doing in the morning, I just come up to her like this. I take her little log off, okay? Very slow, calm movements. And then I just go into here. I don't grab her. I just literally scoop her up with my hand like this. And I let it and I don't restrain her at all, okay? So now, she's not, it's not, this is not a traumatic experience for her, okay? So I'm just taking her out of her water bowl, I'm scooping her up with my hand, very calmly and slow, not fast. I'm making sure Ronnie and Ralph are nowhere near me, cat, so they don't mess with her because they'll come out of nowhere, scare her, she runs. You don't like that, but I don't want to put my cats away so that way they're unassociated with each other. Eventually, this animal is going to get gigantic and able to eat my cats, okay? So I don't want to do that. All my animals are raised together, they're all associated with each other, that is how it goes, okay? That way everybody lives in harmony. So every day I just take her out. Oh, you got whipped, you gotta be careful. So sometimes she does that. So Kayla just got whipped right in the face with the camera. Can't say anything. She That's does it. Okay, so every day I just take her out and I just hold her like this. I let her crawl around. I try to be very calm. She's a little, she's very, she's very tense still. So obviously this is a great, this is a great improvement, okay? She's not trying to run away. She's not trying to bite me. She, you can still tell she's very tense and she's scared, but this animal is finally starting to trust me a little bit. And that is all we need, you know? Little by little, this is not a overnight thing. You have to earn this animal's trust. And then they're great for life. But yeah, you just slowly, you know, I try to rub her underneath her I try to rub her on her throat because they like it, you know? 
and she hasn't tried to bite me. I just give her slow little neck rubs. She's trying to back up a little bit. I just keep supporting her. And that's that. So now you can see along the sides of her, she's got little little spots and stuff, even along her belly. You'll probably be able to see it in the video. She has spots all along her. They're just very faint. It's like light black being on dark black. Yeah, she's chilling out. Eventually, this animal will be super calm, just like that one up there. Things would be awesome. I've been feeding her by hand, too. Yesterday, the first two fuzzies that I fed her, she just, boom, darted after them, snatched them out of my hands super fast and sucked them down. The third one, she actually came up very nicely. She slowly opened her mouth and she carefully grabbed it, making sure she didn't get my fingers. You're getting there. You'll be a sweetheart sooner than later. Cool, well that's that. I'll keep doing update videos on the training of these guys. You're gonna be fine. Look at that face. Such a cool animal. You're okay, don't whip me. <laughs> that's it, so stay tuned guys. I'll be doing progress on these guys all the time. Don't whip me. She's, she's she just cocked her tail back. It's okay. Feed you guys some things. Let's feed you guys some rats. Very cool. Go down. There you go.